And then you go back like, you know, 65 million years ago, and you start to talk about really big impacts, like the one at Chicxulub that, you know, probably wiped out the dinosaurs. Where's Chicxulub? That is in the Yucatan Peninsula. And so that's a cool place. So for many years, um, the work of uh, Nobel Prize winning physicist uh, Louis Alvarez, who worked on the Manhattan Project, and his son actually discovered this thin layer of very um, of iridium rich material that had little spheres of glass and large amounts of iridium, two things that just aren't naturally found in the environment. And it was found in a thin band that we call the KT boundary, which marked essentially the delineation between dinosaurs and no dinosaurs. Deeper than the KT boundary in the geological layer, they're dinosaur fossils. And then above that KT layer, no more dinosaurs. Got it. And so we knew for a long time that that was, you know, indicative of the great extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs. Um, but it was that telltale sign of iridium and those little tiny spheres of glass that said, hey, maybe this is the remnants of a very cataclysmic, you know, global scale planetary impact. And as it turns out, uh, we were able to find the location of that. Scientists were able to find the location of that. And it's right off the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay. And what's interesting is if you've ever been on vacation in the Yucatan, there are all these cenotes or um, essentially water-filled underground caves. And if you map the location of those cenotes around the Yucatan Peninsula, they form almost a perfect uh, semisphere of a circle. And if you map those out... It's kind of the, uh, you the can, radius. Huh? It's the radius of the impact. Okay. So if you project those back, you can actually find the center of this impact. And it was because of shock to the to the uh you know surrounding uh rock strata that you got these cenotes that formed um the limestone dissolved with with water but they they preferentially formed in the shocked boundary layer of the chicxulub impact crater 